What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'm going to talk about the score streak system in game and how I'm just still not a fan of it. I've not been a fan of it since the beta. I'm still not a fan of it with all the tweaks they have made. And there's a lot of different reasons why I don't like it. But first of all, I, I understand why Treyarch did this. They're trying to make sure that people that you know are just casual players that don't play all the time are still able to earn streaks. So by not allowing the streaks to reset on death, you're helping out some players earn some of those lower tier uh, kill streaks game in and game out. I understand that you have to make a game for, you know, your hardcore dedicated fans, people that play day in and day out, and also your casual players who do not play all the time. But at the same time, um, the spam of some of the stuff is getting a little bit ridiculous. My biggest issue with it, well, I wouldn't say my biggest, but one thing that I just cannot stand uh, is at the end of the game, if anyone on the other team has had a pretty decent game, you're probably going to get bombarded with attack choppers and cruise missiles and artillery strikes one after another. I mean, I could not tell you how many times I've spawned up at, towards the end of a game when everybody on the other team has, you know, like I said, even if they're not having had exceptional games, they're starting to get those cruise missiles, those artillery strikes, those, uh, you know, attack choppers. And you just, you, you can't really move. You spawn up and you get hit by a cruise missile. You spawn up and get hit by an artillery strike. You spawn up and the chopper's shooting you. It gets pretty annoying. I mean, it is one after another. Also, the other thing that is annoying is the UAV spam. Um, when the game was released of course we have that day one patch and, and Treyarch changed the amount of points it took to get a UAV but everybody is still earning that UAV at the same rate uh, it's not like you're going out you know having to get four kills five kills before you die to get that UAV you're going out if you get one kill and die get two kills and die get no kills and die but at some point you're going to get that UAV that counter UAV and it usually seems that everybody on each team is getting these at the same you know kind of rate so everyone pretty much has them around the same time for the most part. So you will hear, you know, you just won't hear a, you know, friendly UAV up or a uh, enemy UAV up. You will hear of multiple UAVs up at the same time, no matter what team you're on. And that is a bit annoying in my opinion as well. And I know it's really annoying for people that are just starting out playing. You may not have Ghost unlocked yet. I mean, it, the UAV spam is insane. Um... What they were trying to implement by adding, you know, like I said, to making it a higher score streak to get, you know, more points didn't really help because everyone is still earning it at the same rate because score streaks do not reset on death. Now, I wish they would change this back to the original score streak system. I know a lot of people may like this. Some people may not. I'm not sure where everyone stands on it, but I mean, I don't think that's going to happen now. I think we're too late in the game for this to change. I mean, something possibly could, but I'm just not expecting it. I just wish they could figure out some way if they're going to keep this system, you know, since we're going to have the system for the entire year, uh, some way to cut out a lot of the spam. The UAV spam, yes, is annoying, but once you get Ghost, that is, you know, somewhat, uh, you can tolerate it somewhat, I guess. But when it comes to you're having a good game, and I, I mean, it doesn't matter really what your score is. Let's go for example. I've had a lot of games where at the, you know, uh, uh, in Team Deathmatch, let's just say it's, I'm trying to think of how exactly about the time frame this happens in the game i'm going to say probably around 75 or 80 kills for you know my team if i'm in the lead and i've had several occasions numerous occasions where i've had a three or four kd at that point but the kill streak spam starts from the other team even if we're just beating them i had a game yesterday or the day before we were winning like 75 to 42 it was you know just an absolute uh just pretty much destroying the other team just absolute beating but the other team started getting their art uh, artillery strikes. The other team started getting their cruise missiles. And at that point, I went from like a 3 or 4 KD to down to like a 189 time the game was done. Because there was 5 or 6 deaths in a row that I had no control over because it was artillery strikes. Because it was cruise missiles. I mean, and the cruise missile, in my opinion, probably is the best kill streak in the game. Uh, you get the most bang for your buck. And it's not extremely high to get. But at the same time... Um, it gives you no warning whatsoever, which does need to be looked at. But just overall, I really do not like that whole system of, of you know, you have a really good game. And even if you're, you know, just having a decent game, you know, you're trying to you know, learn the game. You're trying to, you know, you're, you're, you're a fan of uh, just playing Call of Duty and, you know, you just want to have a good game. It's kind of bad that, you know, you could just sit there and four, take four, five, six deaths in a row because of these kill streaks getting called in all at once because everyone's pretty much earning them at the same rate. I'm hoping they can figure out some way to adjust this. Uh, leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Do you like this system? I'm not really having a big issue with a lot of the big kill streaks. Now, yes, I have seen 
people call in chopper gunners. Uh, I've had multiple chopper gunners called in one game. VTOLs, those do not seem to be as strong as you would think. The chopper gunner is definitely not as strong as it was in past uh, Black Ops games. The VTOL is okay, but most of those get you know knocked out pretty quickly, or people just hide in buildings from them and don't go out, or wear cold-blooded, whatever the case may be. Uh, but at the same time, there's nothing, like I said, you can really do to control those artillery strikes and those cruise missiles hitting you as soon as you spawn up. Uh, the other kill streaks in the game, the grenade launcher, that kind of thing, I really have no issue with. I use the grenade launcher. You're going to have to have a little, somewhat a bit of skill with it because you're actually having to run around and physically use it, uh, physically hit those shots. Uh, but when it comes to just calling in a cruise missile, calling in an artillery strike, it, it just almost feels like you're getting cheated at times because you're just dying over and over to spam that would not be there if the earn rate was normal, if the earn rate was what it used to be in a normal Call of Duty game. And I feel like that's what the earn rate needs to be back kind of to. Like I said, I don't expect Treyarch to change this. I think this is what we're going to have for the rest of the year. I'm just hoping they can find ways to tweak this system to make it not so much spam. I mean, it just kind of gets ridiculous at times. Like I said, a lot of people are just wasting UAVs because... Everyone's calling them at the same time anyway. So, I mean, if most people would save their UAVs, if there was not one up, I think the majority of teams would have a UAV up pretty much the entirety of the whole, you know, game. Anyway, guys, like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Are, are you happy with the system? Would you like to see it change? Uh, kind of what are your annoyances with the new score streak system? And if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. Be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord. Uh, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs, office chairs, uh, desks. They sell all kinds of things to fit your gaming needs, no matter if you play on console or on PC. So give them a look. All their information is down in the description. And of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.